Welcome to Toning and Abs. It's a special workout. We're going to do things like unges back and heel knee raises and uh, chest fives and bicep curves because it's the time of the year for no L, no L. So unges, not lunges, and fives, not flies, and knee raises, not heel raises, because it's no L. No L, no L, no L, no L. All right, let's warm it up. Let's march in place on the right, right, right. Four, three, we'll step and unge from side to side. Step and unge. Four, three, two, we'll do repeater knees for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, switch sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and switch for four, three, two, switch, four, three, two, switch for two, switch for two, alternate for three, hamstring curves, step and curl, chop your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades back, double it up here, double curl, and double, and double, and double back to singles, four, three, two, doubles for two, one, single, single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double, two more sets of single, single, double, one more time, single, single, double, tap it out, one, four, three, pull that shoulder roll, four, three, elbow roll, four, three, Roll our arms, four, three. Reach overhead, four, three. We're punching forward, four, three. Just punch across your chest and twist, four, three. Punch it up, four, three. Punch it down, four, three. Punch it across for two. Punch it up for two. Punch it down for two. Punch across. Let's swing those arms. Four, three. Let's pivot right. Tap the toe. Keep the heel. Swing the arms. For two. We'll shift the weight back to the left foot. The back is flat. Press down the chest. We'll tap the right foot. Four, three. Side to side. Four, three. Plant the foot. Take a big step back with the left foot. Push the heel to the floor. Lunging forward, fingers are laid, palms turned out, sliding shoulder blades apart. We're rocking forward to stretch that calf and open that hip. Four, three, next. Heel raise with the back heel. Lift and lower, reach and pull, up and down. Keep it going. Give me four, three, two, Hip flexor stretch, we'll bend the back knee in, curl the tailbone under, tilt the pelvis, scoop the abs, and flex the biceps. Four, three, two. Hold your knee in for quad stretch, adding side raise. Four, three, let's hold it down. We'll add left arm tricep stretch, reaching over your shoulder, push or pull back the elbow, lift the rib cage and stack the spine. Now shake it out, facing front, and marching left, left, step touch, tap it out, shoulder roll, elbow roll, roll your arms, reach over your head, punching forward, punch across and twist, punching up, punching down, punch across, swing your arms forward, Three, and this time pivot to the left. Tap the toe, dig the heel, swing the arms. Two, shift the weight back to the right foot. Back is flat, press down the chest. We're tapping the left foot. For four, for three, 
the two were tapping side to side. Four, three, plant the foot, take a big step back with the right foot, push the heel to the floor, lunging forward, big shoulder roll, lace those fingers behind the back, press your knuckles down, lift your arms up, press out your chest, rock it forward. For four, three, two, heel raise with your back, heel, lift, lower, reach, and pull up and down. Keep it going. Four, three, two. Hip flexor stretch. We'll bend the back knee in. We'll curl the tailbone under. Tilt the pelvis, scoop the abs, flex the biceps. Four, three, two. Hold the knee in for quad stretch. We'll add chest fly this time. Squeeze the shoulder blades together in back. Touch the elbows together in front. For two. Hold it down, add right arm tricep stretch, reaching over the shoulder, pushing or pulling back the elbow, shake it out. All right, let's do some unges back, some lunges back. I'm going to give you an option here. You can grab weights with both hands if you want to. Let's lunge back on the right first. So stepping back on the right, coming back forward. Just simple lunge back. If you don't like the lunge back, if you want something a little less dynamic, take a split squat and feel free to hold on to a chair with your right hand. From here, we'll just bend and extend. It's a very similar exercise without the movement. So there's less loading. So less impact, I should say. So choose an option, lunging back on the right, in five, six, seven, eight, lunge and lift. Down and up, spine is stacked, sternum lifted. Keep it going for 12, 11, 10, nine and lift for eight, seven up, six, home stretch, four, three, two, one, quick breath. We'll switch sides. You can have your left foot back in your split squat with your left hand holding your chair. You just lunge back with your left leg. Choose your option. Five, six, seven, eight. Lunge and lift. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Bend, extend. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine and lift, eight, seven up, six, home stretch, four, three, two, one. All right, let's do some heel raises, then we'll do second sets. Feel free to grab onto a chair or a table if you want to. If you want to hold the weight, it's optional. I'm going to hold my weight in my left hand as I mirror you. Pick up my right foot. Now I'll raise my left heel. Five, six, seven, eight, eight. Seven, six, five, good for four, three, next. Up for one, down for three. Six, lower, two, three, bring it up. Bring it down, two, and three, two more, lift, lower, two, three, one more time. Regular time, eight, seven, six, five, lift for four, three, two, one. Shake it out. If you're holding the weight in your left hand, Move it to your right hand. If you are grounding your left foot, ground your right foot. If you pick up your right foot, pick up your left foot. And get ready to lift. Up, down. Exhale, inhale. Four, three, two. Up for one, down for three. Lift, lower, two. Three, up, down, 
two and three, two more, then power two, three, one more time. Regular time again. Eight, seven, six, five, then for four, three, two, one, Let's shake our legs now. Let's go back for our second set of our lunges back or our split squat. Starting with the right foot, either lunging back or placed behind for split squat. Grab your weight, choose your stance, and get ready to lunge and lift. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Bend, extend. 12. 11, 10, 9 and lift, and give me 8, 7 up, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, quick breath, switch sides either with your chair, with your split squat, or with your lunge back. Ground the right foot, lunge back on the left. Five, six, seven, eight, lunge and lift. Down and up. Inhale, exhale. Bend, extend. 12, 11, 10, 9 and up. 8, 7, 6, home stretch. 4, 3, Two, one, extra breath. Second set of heel raises, parallel feet. A couple of options. You can hold a weight in one hand or the other and hold the chair as we bend our knees, lift our heels. You could also try holding weights in both hands and balancing, so choose your option and get ready to lift and lower. Up and down, exhale, inhale. Focusing on the soleus. Four, three, two. Let's slow it down to half time and lift and lower. Bring it up, bring it down for two and down. And one, and then regular time again. Eight, seven, six, home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Let's stretch out those calves before we move on. Let's bring the right foot forward, the left foot back. We're going to ground that left heel down, keep that left leg straight, inhale, exhale, lunging forward on the right. Let's keep our toes pointing forward and our hips square, breathe, you might sink a little deeper as you hold the stretch, stretching the gastrocnemius. Now we'll shorten the stance, we'll soften the back knee. And we'll lean forward, hinging at that back ankle, shifting the emphasis of our stretch to the deeper muscle of the calf, the soleus. And shake it out. Let's bring the left foot forward, the right foot back. Hips are square, toes are pointing forward. Inhale, exhale. Think, stretch, and breathe. Gastrocnemius stretch. Shorten the stance, soften the knee, lean into it. Gonna shake it out. All right. Let's add a little bit of lateral movement. We'll do some side lunges. Give you some options here. You can rest dumbbells on your shoulders if you like, or if you have a bar. Rest it across your shoulders. Take a wide stance, 
with your knees pointing towards your toes. When I say right, go right. When I say left, go left. We'll break it down, eights, fours, twos, and ones. You could also start together, step out, and do eight here, and come back in and switch sides. A little more dynamic. Or you can do out and in with each lunge. That's the most dynamic option. So, you can choose wider close for lunging to the right. In five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're lunging left for eight, seven, six, five, four, knees pointing toward the toes, two, back to the right, four, three, two, left, four, three, two, right, for two, left, for two, alternating right and left, four, three, two, one, catch your breath, put our weights down, let's stretch our quads, you might want to grab onto something for balance with your right hand, ground the right foot, Pick up the left foot, try to grab your foot or ankle. Once you have it, pull it behind you, pull it up and away from your back side. Try to lift your chest so you're feeling a stretch in your hip and your quads. Breathe and open. And we'll relax. We'll switch sides, ground the left, ground the Left foot, bend the right leg, grab the foot or ankle, pull up and away from your back side. Lifting the chest, opening the hips, stretching the quads. Breathe. To shake that out. Now perhaps you want to put your foot up on a chair, or you can sit on a chair and bring your foot forward, or you could bring your foot forward on the floor. Take a foot, face the foot, square up your hips. Inhale, lengthening your spine, exhale, hinging forward. Now notice that I'm not pushing on the leg that I'm stretching. I do not want to lock out my knee. I'm not gonna push on this leg and keep my hands on my hips or my standing leg if I like, or my chair if I like. Inhale, exhale, inhale to lengthen, exhale to pull deeper into the hamstring stretch. And rise back up, shake that leg out. I'll switch sides. All the same options on the chair, sit on the chair, heel on the floor, whatever you like. Face your foot square, your hips inhale, tall lengthen your spine. Exhale, pull from your hip crease, pressing your belly towards your thigh. Inhale for length, exhale to go deeper. Hamstring stretch. Let's rise up, shake it out. Ground into the right foot and step the left foot across the right foot. Let's push the right hip out and sway to the left. Feel our stretch here. As we push the hip out, we'll feel a stretch in that hip. Breathe and sink into it. We'll rise back up. Let's ground into the left foot. Bring the right foot over, press the hip out, and sway. So I'm pushing my left hip out, shake it out. All right, we're going to some upper body work now. We'll do our chest thighs, our thighs, because no L. So find yourself a place where you can lie back. Now, we're gonna do flies with our arms extended, and we're gonna do pullover with one weight, 
could be one of your fly weights or could be a different weight. You can decide that now if you have what you need handy. So we'll do flies, pullovers, flies, pullovers, flies. Now all these, all both these exercises I do at a slower tempo because it's a long lever, I want to maintain control. So try to use all the music. So when I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, however I'm counting it, don't get there before me. Don't give me one of these one, two, three, four, five, six, rest, rest, rest. You should be using all the music, and just getting back as the music runs out. I'm ready for the next rest. So, on our backs with both weights for flies. Feel free to plant your feet, round your shoulder blades down, weights up, palms facing in for flies, five, six, seven, eight, lower to the side, lift to the center, inhale coming out, exhale back in, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, lower, two, three, four, and lift it back to center for 12, and lift, 11, and fly. 10, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, nine. Inhale down, you're halfway through this set. Eight, and fly. Seven, and lift. Six, two, three, four, lift, two, three, four, five. Inhale, exhale up. Four, three more and fly. For two, inhale, exhale to center. One more time. Catch your breath, Let's put one weight down. Let's grab one weight, first with the right hand, then with the left hand. We'll switch our grip for the next step. On our back, <coughs> tabletop knees. Brace the abs, maintain neutral spine. Bar is up, you can close the head if you like. And lengthen out and bring it in. We'll bring it down. We'll bring it up. 14. Work in the range that works for you. 13. Hold tabletop knees if you need to. 12. And pull. 11. And lift it back to center. 10, 2, 3, 4, and pull. 9, inhale out. Exhale back in. 8, 2, 3, 4, lift it. 7, bring it back to center. 6, abs are tight and braced. 5, lifting up. 4 more. Exhale. For 3, and pull. Two, lift, and one. Catch your breath. All right. Get ready for our second set of flies. Of course, the flies work the pecs right across here. Round your shoulders, weights are up, palms are facing in. Lower, lift, inhale, exhale, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, 12, and fly, 11, and lift it back to center, 10, inhale out, exhale coming in, nine to the side, back to the center. Eight, fly, seven, up, six, inhale, exhale, coming up, five, two, three, four, home stretch, almost there, four, fly, three more, inhale, exhale, back up, for two, and lift, and one, and rest, catch your breath. Second set of pullovers. This time, let's grab the weight with your left hand first. 
Wrap your right hand over, bring it up, tabletop knees, float your head if you like, and then lengthen and lift. Inhale, exhale, down two, three, four, up two, three, four, lower two, three, four, lift it back to center. 12, pull, 11, and up, 10, inhale, exhale and lift, 9, 2, 3, 4, bring it back to center, 8, 7, pull, 6, and lift, 5, guess what, you're almost through the set, in 4, 3 more, Two, up, and one. Let's put the weight down. Let's just hug our legs in for a moment. Take some deep breaths. Relax and recover. We have one more set of flies. Let's grab our fly weights. Ground our shoulder blades down, bring our weights up with our palms facing in. Five, six, seven, eight, lower. And lift. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it out. Bring it in. Bring it down. Bring it up. Keep it going. Last 12. And fly. 11. Lift it back to center. 10, 2, 3, 4, and up. Inhale. Exhale. 8, 7, lift. 6, breathe and fly. 5, home stretch. 4, 3, Two and one. Catch your breath. All right. While we're here, let's do one quick set of reverse crunches. So reverse crunch, we'll all have tabletop knees. We want to focus on curling the spine, lifting the hips, not just swinging the legs in and out. So we're going to curl the spine and lift the hips. That's the basic reverse crunch. And you can also just float your head for a little more intensity. Or you could also lift your shoulders to make a double crunch. You can just brace your arms at your side if you like. So I'll come to tabletop knees. Curl the spine. Lift the hips. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift. Option one. Option two. Just float the head. Option three is double crunch. Crunch and squeeze and lift and lower. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna slow it down to half time. Lift, two, three, four, lower, two, three, four, crunch and release for four, three, Two and one. And back to regular time. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Home stretch. Four. Three. Two. And let's hug those thighs in. Relax the head and neck. Rock out the back. Take some deep breaths. Recover. And we'll make our way to seated. Take a moment for the blood to come back to your brain before you stand up so you don't get dizzy. And we'll stand up. Let's stretch out the chest by opening our arms with our palms forward and lightly pulsing back, squeezing our shoulder blades together. Of course, when we squeeze our shoulder blades, 
We're using our rhomboids, which are our Christmas tree muscles. Big pulse to release it. All right. Let's do some rows. Let's go heavy. We'll do one at a time with some shrugs in between. So, you might want to have a chair. And you could kneel on this chair if you wanted to, to do your row, keeping your spine nice and long, your back pretty flat. You could also take your three-point stance with one hand on the chair and two feet on the floor, holding your weight with your other hand. You could also raise your back leg and hold it up there. What I'm going to do is for my first set, this will do three sets, I'm going to lift and lower my leg with each rep. For my second set, I'm going to lower and lift my leg with each rep. So the opposite, so I'm having to make my brain work. And my third set, I'm just going to hold the leg up and row. You can do any option you like. I'm just giving you a choice. I always recommend starting to work on your weaker side arm. So you'll finish when you're the most tired on your stronger side. Choose your stance. Grab your weight. Brace your core. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift and row. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Twelve. 11, 10, 9, row for 8, pull for 7, lift for 6, up for 5, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. On this weird side, you do the same thing I just did on the other side. Choose the stance. Grab your weight, brace your core. Five, six, seven, eight, row. Lift and lower, up and down. Pull right up to your side and squeeze back your shoulder blade for 12. 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Home stretch, four, three, Two, one. Little break. Shrug. You need a weight in each hand. Might not be as heavy as that up to you. Stack the spine, pack the shoulders. We'll raise the shoulders to our ears like this. Looking at our upper trapezius. Lift and lower, keep it going. 12, 11, 10, 9, 4 for 8, 2 for 7, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. We'll do a second set of those later. But first, we'll do our second sets of rows. For this set, I'm going to lower my leg as my arm comes up and reverse it. Arm comes up, legs go down. Do whatever you want. Just an option. Choose your stance. Grab your weight. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight, row. Lift. Squeeze back the shoulder blade. Exhale, inhale. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Pull for eight. Seven. Six. Home stretch. Four. Three. Two. One, rest. I'm going to switch sides. A 
other side. Pinch your hips, find your stance, grab your weight, and get ready. Row. Go right up to your side. Lead with the elbow. Exhale, inhale. 12, 11, 10, 9. Row for 8, 7, 6. Home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Second set of shrugs. Grab your weights. Hip with stance, stack your spine, pack your shoulders back and down, get ready, shrug, lift, up and down, 12, 11, 10, 9, shrug for 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. All right. Well, we stretch our shoulders. We're going to stretch our upper traps as well. So we'll just put a pin in that for now. We'll come back into our final set of rows. I'm going to leave my leg up the whole time. It's an option. Keep both feet down if you want to. Stack your spine, hinge your hips, find your stance, grab your weight, five, six, seven, eight, row, lift, squeeze back the shoulder, looking at our lats here, 12, 11, 10, 9, row for 8, 7, 6, home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Second side, third set. Choose your stance. Grab your weight. Five, six, seven, eight, row. Lift, pull, exhale, inhale. 12, 11, 10, row for 9, pull for 8, 7, 6, and stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right. Push out our back a little bit. We'll interlace our fingers, turn our palms out, slide our shoulder blades apart, feel a stretch across the upper back, shrug our shoulders up, roll them back and down, raise our arms, we'll sway to one side, use our breath to expand the other side of the body, come back to center. Switch sides, use your breath to expand the side of the body. Back to center, shake it out. Move on to some shoulders now. Let's do a combination side raise hip abductor. So for side raise, you don't want a super heavy weight. Now if the weight you have is too hard, too heavy to do a good side raise, you can either just use this body weight or you could do a press overhead instead of the side raise. That would be an optional substitution. Let's 
start by grounding the left foot, holding the weight in the left hand, raising the right leg and the left arm in five, six, seven, eight. Lift. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Out and in. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Home stretch. Four. Three. Two. One. Rest. Move the weight to the right hand. Ground the right foot, raise the right arm, raise the left leg, start, five, six, seven, eight, Lift. up and down, helps to find the stationary spot to focus on, 12, helps to engage your core and your pelvic floor, keep it going, eight, seven, six, Home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Let's do some rear delt flies or rows, depending on how heavy your weights are. Step the right foot forward, the left foot back. Keep your feet hip width apart, toes pointing forward. Inhale tall, exhale folding forward. Try to push your weight into your back foot so you're not lunging forward. For rows, palms facing in. For flies, for, for rows, palms facing back with elbows pointing out. For flies, palms facing in. Lifting out to the side. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift. Either way, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Twelve. Eleven. 10, 9, 5 for 8, 7, 6, from stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Rest, breathe. Come back for second sets of side raise and hip abductor. The weight is in your left hand again. Your left foot is grounded. Your left arm and your right leg raise out to the side. Five, six, seven, eight. Lift. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. Twelve. Eleven. Keep that toe pointing forward. Three feet remain parallel. Eight, seven, six, come stretch, four, three, two, one, breathe, move the weight to your right hand, ground your right foot, feet are parallel, and raise the right arm and the left leg, five, six, seven, eight. Lift, up and down, exhale, inhale, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, come stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, all right, second set of reverse flies or rear delt rows. I'll do rows this set. Left foot forward, parallel feet, hip width apart, hinging at the hips. Five, six, seven, eight, row. Or fly, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Try to push into your back foot. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, pull for 6, 
five, home stretch, four, three, two, one. All right, let's go ahead and stretch our rear delts. Take the left hand across your right shoulder. Try to relax that right shoulder down, left shoulder down, I should say. Take your right hand across the body. Going to stretch in the back of your left shoulder. Breathe into it. Switch sides. Right hand over left shoulder. Relax that right shoulder down. Pull over. We have one more set of side raises and abductors. Grab the weight in your left hand, round your left foot, raise your left arm and your right leg. Five, six, seven, eight, six. up and down. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven. Feel it right out here in your deltoid. Four, three, two, one. I've noticed people sometimes feel this where the muscle attaches into your arm. So if you feel it like right about in here, that's normal, that's the attachment. Switch to the right hand, round the right foot, raise the left leg. Five, six, seven, eight, this. Up and down. Exhale, inhale. 12, 11, 10, 9, almost through the set in 8, 7, 6, home stretch, 4, 3, 2, 1, Press. weights down. If you want to grab a towel for our stretch, feel free. We're going to gather it up. Big shoulder roll. Grab me behind the back with both hands. If you don't have a towel handy, just interlace your fingers. Push your knuckles down toward the floor. Lift your chest up toward the ceiling. Feel a stretch in your deltoids. Also in your upper traps here. Try to press up through the crown of your head, and press down with your knuckles. So an upper body stretch. All right. Relax. We have some time to work on our arms now. So we're going to do concentration curls and something for triceps. I'll give you options for triceps. Start with concentration curl, we'll do each side for each exercise and repeat. Let's see. So for concentration curl, you do want to have a seat. And if you're going to start, I recommend starting with your weaker side arm. So you're going to grab the weight. You're going to brace your elbow against your inner thigh. Use that leg to stabilize that arm so the arm doesn't move. Just bend at the elbow. Curl the weight like this. Let's go. Lift. Curl. Up and down. 12. 11. 10. Curl for 9. 8. 7. 6. Home stretch. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides, brace your elbow against your inner thigh, and you're ready to curl. Lift and lower, up and down. Exhale, inhale for 12, 11, 10, nine, home stretch. Eight, seven, six, 
Almost through the set. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's do triceps and we'll repeat biceps afterwards. A couple of options for triceps. You can use a similar stance to what we did for our rows earlier. Just kick back. Now, if you're doing this one, be careful to control the weight. Don't let it swing forward. That's not an exercise. That's just momentum. You're going to stop when the knuckles point straight down. The other option is overhead tricep where you hold the weight by one head. You can brace your arm with the other hand and bend and extend. I'm going to do these for my first sets. Repeat concentration curl, and then do these for my second set. Do whatever you want as many times as you like. Get ready. Five, six, seven, eight, extend and bend. Lift and lower. Whatever you're doing, really try to straighten that arm, fully extend it. 12, 11, 10, 9, kick back for 8, 7, 6, Almost four, three, two, one, rest. Whatever you're doing, switch sides. Grab your weight, find your stance. Five, six, seven, eight, extend. Lift and lower, up and down. For 12, 11, 10, 9, kick it back for 8, lift for 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Go back for more concentration curls. Go back to the side you started on, grab your weight, embrace your arm, and curl it, and lift it, up and down, 12, 11, 10, 9, curl for 8, 7, 6, home stretch, 4, Three, two, one. Switch sides, grab your weight, brace your arm. Get ready, curl it, lift it, up and down. 12, 11, 10, 9, curl for eight. Seven, six, home stretch, four, three, two, one, rest. Let's open our arms, twist our thumbs under and press back to stretch our biceps. Deep breaths to help you recover. Better to breathe deep than to breathe fast. Shake it out. All right, triceps, you can repeat. If you did those kickbacks like I did before, you can repeat those again. You can do the overhead tricep extension if you like. That's what I'm gonna do. it is. All right. Take a hand, hold your weight, brace your arm, get ready. Five, six, seven, eight, bend, bend, lower, lift, inhale, exhale, 
down and up, 12, 11, 10 extend, 9 and press and keep it going, 8, 7, 6, almost, 4, 3, 2, 1, rest. Switch sides, weight up, embrace your other arm, front or back, five, six, seven, eight, then, then, lower, lift, inhale, exhale, down and up, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, halfway through, eight, seven, Six, home stretch, four, three, two, one, rest. I like this. You can do one weight with both arms, but it's really hard to avoid letting your elbows pop out to the side. Then you're working the deltoids not just your triceps. So I like this way because when I use my other hand to brace that arm, that upper arm remains stationary so the movement happens at the elbow and that's where the tricep is doing this work. So this one arm version I really like so I can brace it, stabilize it, and really target those triceps much better. You'll see people do this a lot. The elbows popping out to the side, they're not really getting it. All right, let's stretch. Big shoulder roll. Sweep the right arm up and pat yourself on the back. With your left hand, push or pull back that elbow. Feeling the stretch in the triceps of your right arm. Keep your spine tall, keep your sternum lifted. Breathe. Shake that out. Big shoulder roll. Left arm up, pat yourself on the back with your right hand. Push or pull back the elbow, back the spine tall. Feel the stretch in the triceps where you felt the work earlier. Breathe. Let's shake that out. Let's take a little wide and hip width stance. Inhale to lift. Let's exhale to flat back with hands on thighs and a long spine. Inhale, lift the chest and tailbone. Exhale, scoop the abs, curl in. Inhale, lift, look forward. Exhale, scoop it in. Inhale, lift. Exhale, scoop. Come back to a neutral spine, a long spine. Turn the right shoulder toward the left knee and press for a gentle stretch. You want your left shoulder turning up toward the ceiling. Come back through center. Turn that left shoulder toward the right knee with the right shoulder going up toward the ceiling. We'll come back to center. Inhale, exhale, roll halfway up. Inhale, press flat. Exhale, roll halfway up. Inhale, press flat. Exhale, roll all the way up. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, press down. Keeping the shoulders cocked. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Noel, Noel, have a great holiday. Merry Christmas. I'll see you next time we see you.